17 years ago, after spending our first night together, we woke up the next morning and Gary told me, nothing is ever going to come of this. Me, barely 21 and not really interested in being in a relationship anyway, took him for his word. Somehow, 17 years later, here we are. Now, this wasn't always a fun 17 years. In fact, we really sucked at loving each other for a long time. For those first eight years, it was like we were doing everything in our power to destroy what should have been a really good thing. There likely couldn't have been two people in the world who shouldn't have been together more than us. There are people here today that can actually attest to this. To those of you here who have stuck with Gary and I since the beginning, we're sorry for what you've likely had to witness. Thank God we don't remember half of it. We are so happy that you've all stuck with us throughout, but goddamn did we do everything in our power to make you hate us. We never deserved the second chances we were given, but thank you for giving them to us anyway. We are standing here in front of you today because of you. We wouldn't be here without you. This whole ceremony is dedicated to all of you. When we met, we were two kids who grew up during a time where we were told that love looked only a certain way and it didn't look like ours. I'm not sure if I can accurately explain how this feels to people who will never experience it, but you just kind of learn to accept to love each other in secrecy. You accept that your future is just going to look differently. This right here wasn't even legal. The world wasn't made for us, so I knew not too long after we met that it was going to be me and you against the world, but I was wrong. For years, it seemed as though the world was against me and you. In retrospect, I wouldn't have had it any other way. We may have come into each other's lives at the wrong time, but the fact that we are standing here today is a testament to our love for each other. In spite of our struggles, the road just kept leading us back to each other. I don't believe in fate, but maybe the universe knew we were meant to be all along. This love was inevitable. It's gonna be tough to beat, but yeah. uh, you got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, old Gary's gonna turn it out. Uh, we didn't know what each other was gonna say, so uh, <laughs> here we go. Matthew, I'm not someone who believes in destiny or fate, but as I reflected back over 17 years and the decisions, steps, changes, chance occurrences and timelines that had to match up perfectly for us to meet where and when and how we did in the state of mind that we did i wondered if this was the first time you and i have found one another or if in this lifetime or the next we're in fact meant to exemplify together the phrase nothing is impossible no matter how it happened Today, I'm grateful for all the good and the bad, as ultimately they led us here, and I have no regrets. We have already lived through arguably the hardest things people can go through, survived better and stronger together. But I can promise you, if I have anything to do with it, life will always be better than it was. And I will always be glad to be part of the stories no matter the audio. Lastly, I will be proud and honored to call you my husband. And I love you. I love you too. Matt and Gary, by the strength of your own love and the power vested in me by the internet, I now pronounce you finally married. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> When I wake up, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who's waking up to me. And when I'm dreaming, well, I know I'm gonna dream, I'm gonna dream about the time I had with you.
Why throw it away? Why walk out on me? I just live for the day.